Hello there everyone and welcome to the official Daryl Data Morgan YouTube channel, me Daryl Data Morgan, a aka a patch, 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 patch. I'm here at Alt Towers today uh, for the gardens tour as per usual um, and oh yes it's been a while since I've been here, the weather's not really great to be honest with you so I'm going to get myself a cup of tea in a minute I think to warm myself up. Um, I'm going to go check around some of the ride areas today areas that I'm allowed to go to. Banana costume is absolutely yonked at the moment, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, anyway, there we are, that's better. Let me put my hood up instead, because, uh, uh, God, this is going to be a pain now. Bugger it, I'll wait in a minute. Right, so anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, going to check out all the ride areas that I've that uh, I can get to, check out the gardens, pending the weather, I mean the weather's not that bad, it's just a bit drizzly here and there, um, and then just go from there really, it's dead as per usual, um, but roll on the 4th of July hopefully where we can reopen the park, uh, so there's lots of new stuff I want to talk about here at the park as well today, um, so yeah, here for the next day, here on the official Daryl Dutton Morgan YouTube channel. So again everyone, good news, by the looks of things, X sector's open. By the looks of things, I mean the weather's not exactly brilliant anyway, let's put it that way, um, unless this barrier's not Unless I'm allowed down here, I'm not too sure. There are there's some work going on, I'm not too sure what's going on, whether I'm allowed down here or not. But look, my favourite ride. Just hope I can see it go round today. Um, that is one of the main reasons why I came here. I just heard someone shout something. I don't know. Let's get under here actually. That's the first time that's opened. It's normally shut off, actually. Now, this is one of the new Coke things, actually. So, basically, I mean, it's not switched on, but, um... Oh, oh no, it's smiler. There's workers up there. Uh, yeah, so this is one new thing, anyway. It's a new Coke thing, anyway. Um... It says it's open, but I don't know, I don't want to touch it anyway. So yeah, you got workers up there. They must be doing something to my favourite ride. They must be putting a new chain onto it. Or doing something to it anyway. It does smell of diesel. Yes. Yeah, they're probably thinking, what the hell am I doing dressed as a banana? As per usual, but I've got my hoodie up anyway, so that's one good thing. The weather is, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with the weather today. I really don't know. Um, so yeah, let's go around here anyway. You'll get, let's enjoy ourselves anyway. Now, of course, there's no rides open, obviously, as per usual, but this is all the stuff that's coming up. Um, obviously, Oktoberfest in September, I don't think that's going to be happening this year. Um, I, to be honest with you, I can't see Scarefest happening this year. There's no news about it yet at all. Um, and, well, that's how far it can go, really. I'm not too sure if I'm allowed to be down here. That's the only problem. Because it's all open there, so... I'm not too sure. I mean, it's very weird not hearing the music down here. Very, very weird not hearing the music. 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of work going on down here, I think. I don't think I'm allowed down here. <laughs> there it is, favourite ride. Of course it says closed on there. All closed up, but it's open. Uh, there's the trains there. This is a good thing, the shop's obviously shut. I mean, really, to be honest, they should have really opened all the shops and everything if this part was open today. But, um... Yeah, oh, the shop is shut because the two bins are there. Um, so, yeah. I got a little walk round, really. Yeah, so I see you when there's something interesting. See you in a bit, guys. So then. Here is the back end of the garden, then, pretty much. Uh, you've got the... Uh, um, uh, the conservatories there. Up there, you've got that phone thing. The meat and two veg plants are down there as well. It's just where this tree is down here, this light one here that I'm pointing at now, it's just next door to that actually. The meat and two veg plants, the churchy type thing is just down there somewhere as well. Um, so I'll go down there in a bit. I need a wee wee. Uh, there's a nice towers down up there amongst themselves as well. There they are. Look at them. Uh, hopefully they'll be open soon. And now in terms of Scarefest, um, no news, as I said earlier. Um, there's no news whatsoever regarding um, uh, Oktoberfest either yet. I don't, I don't think it'll be happening this year to be honest. Um, obviously with the current, you know, outbreak that's been going on, really with the coronavirus stuff. Um, so yeah, there's not really a lot happening again. I mean, I can give you some Arena Concert Frogs news, that's one good thing. Um, Ariana Grande has now, obviously on my last vlog, Ariana Grande has finished her, well, she was just about finishing off the new studio album. Um, that is now finished. Uh, so all it is now is just waiting for the studio to, to open, uh, for that to be ripped and then hopefully um, put to studio quality, uh, so it's not glitchy and all that sort of thing. Um, regarding Taylor Swift and Camila Cabello, they're not doing no new albums until further notice, because obviously we need to do the Lover Tour for Taylor Swift, and also the um, Romance Tour for Camila Cabello as well. Uh, obviously in January, Dua Lupa is going to be joining us for the Arena Concert Vlogs as well. Uh, Dua Lupa will be in training though. Uh, I'd, more news on that nearer the, towards the end of this year, towards say about November time. When I, when I get more information on onto that. Um, and it's, and uh, I think that's it so far. I mean I'm not 100% sure. One thing that was meant to happen okay and he's not happy at all is Chris my friend Chris he was meant to be here today um, unfortunately he had to make a last-minute decision um, so uh, which is a shame uh, I can't say the reasons why um, but there's one person who's here who loves you guys it smells like a boiled egg factory down here as well if you're watching this in smell of vision I do apologize okay but he's here and he wants to say hello, okay, and he welcomes you to 2020 at Alton Towers. His name's called, listen to this YouTube. <sighs> Quiet. He hissed. Right, I'm going to go off for a wee. It smells like a boiled egg factory down here. It really does smell like a boiled egg factory down here. Don't know why. I had no idea that Alton Towers has its very own boiled egg factory. <sighs> God. Right, I'm going to go for a wee wee, and then I'll see you guys in the gardens. Which is the real reason why I'm here at the, here at the park today. So I'll see you then. Don't know when you can hear that in the background, but it sounds like Wicker Man is actually testing. Not too bad, but... I'm heading this way, 
because I want to go into the gardens. Okay, one famous thing that I normally do with the churchy type thing and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to go down there and uh, check it all out. I mean, today's not going to be a very long vlog. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, but I'm here, I'm, oh, to be honest with you, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, put me hoodie up. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I am actually enjoying myself, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? I'm not bored. Not one bit. Um, and and it, it surprised me because I know it surprised myself really because I like coming here. Do you know what I mean? It's my favourite park, okay? It's, you know, it only cost me a pound to book online, you know? Obviously, for the gardens, of course. It'll probably be free of charge once the theme park opens. Um, and, you know, you know I, I like it. I really do like it here. So, Gonna go through this way. This is a very famous area. Um, a bit echoey. Um, yeah, you can hear Wicker Man going round. It's just behind them trees there, Wicker Man. Yes, he was a bit broken earlier. Oh, Mr. Big Bob. Mr. Big Bob. Ah. So, yeah, there's the famous S and all that sort of stuff. There's some sort of history about that. Check out Theme Park Worldwide anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway through watching the vlog, but by the time I've actually, um, uh, uh, by the time this vlog goes online, I'll probably have finished watching it all. So um, check out the vlog, the Theme Park Worldwide meet. Yeah, I keep saying meet up. The Theme Park Worldwide vlog about this. God, there's a bit of history there. Yeah, right. So we're in the gardens now. One of the main reasons why I come here. Okay, and I'm going to be a bit honest with you, I like the gardens, I'm pleased that Alton Towers have actually done this, and i tell you why I'm pleased. One, I get to see the churchy type thing, uh, and it's all nice and glory, all walk along the grass. Two, it's nice and peaceful, and three, I'm, you know, I'm pleased that it's open. It's just a shame, really, that the weather's not as good as it should be. I mean, it's not raining now, so I can take my hoodie off. Just from the trees. <sighs> yes. Yeah, just from the trees, I think. So, yes. Uh, here's all the famous stuff here. The famous fountain stuff here. Not too bad, not too bad at all. You've got conservatories up there as well, and got this little bit here. Um, and the meeting to veg, well, I wouldn't say meeting to veg, they're further down. This is like an old fashioned foam. Yes, we'll go through that. The foam bush, and to the wedding area as we like to call it. Which is good. And then the church type thing's just down there, I think. Just at the end of this place here, I think. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. I like it here. Yeah. I'm loving it already. Loving it already. Um... But uh, yeah, well, there's one person who wants to say hello, but finally, uh, his name's called uh, Listen to This YouTube for 2020 at Alton Towers. Pardon moi. So, I'll see you in a bit. Yep, I was right. As I started to uh, sort of, you know, uh, continue on the vlog, I uh, realised uh, it, well, it's just started raining again. I mean, it's only been spitting though, it's not heavy rain. It's only heavy when it's windy. And... Ta-da! The churchy type thing. Not too bad, is it? Huh? Not too bad. I've missed this. And of course, as well, I've missed 
Oh, loads of it really. Oh, it's all wet. Yeah, I've missed it, the churchy type thing. I will do a much more bigger vlog on the 4th of July. Hopefully when it finally opens. Uh, well, when the rides obviously open. Would hope anyway, fingers crossed. And hopefully Chris can come along as well. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it today. So just in the church type thing. Uh, and then we've got the meat and two veg plants that are just up here. They're just up there. There they all are. Have a much more closer look at them. As explained um, in the theme park worldwide vlog uh, from Saturday and from just recently, the recent one, um, there's only one food uh, area open and that's near Wickerman. Um, yeah, that's the only area, that's the only food area open and it's only card payment as well, no cash. I brought a lot of cash with me, no point really. I mean, it'd be good for petrol and stuff, but really, um, I'm going to get myself a chockey bar in a minute. I might get myself another cup of tea as well while I'm at it. Um, and, um, uh, yes, I think that's it for the time being. Oh no, listen to this YouTube. So yeah, oh that bit's closed off isn't it? Yeah, we're going to the woody area. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So then guys, or so then everyone, I'm just walking down this steep hill. I do apologise. And then, now uh, apparently they're switching this fountain thing on. Um, uh, it's been on a few vlogs actually. Um, obviously, Theme Park Worldwide as well. Um, uh, Rob Donahue from Theme Park Fans uh, should be here today as well. Um, I don't know where he is. Obviously, there's only about 25 people on the park all, at the moment, so. It's not, um, it's not a lot of people. Uh, oh, it's bigger than what I thought, actually. In person, it's a lot bigger than what I thought. I'm hoping that it can get switched on. Hoping so, anyway. Let's have a look. I mean, I'm not too sure what the time is, actually, to be fair. Let's have a look. It reminds me of Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, isn't it? It looks like they're the hitchhikers. Or the hikers. I can hear Nemesis in the background. That's definitely Nemesis. God, it's more bigger than what I thought, actually. Yeah, now water's meant to come up from the top up there somewhere. I don't know uh, what time they're switching it on though. I'll have to find that out, really. Um, but yeah, water's meant to come out from that anyway. It's bigger than what I thought. A lot bigger than what I thought. It looks smaller on YouTube, I'm not going to lie, but it's more bigger in person. And it looks amazing as well, I'm not going to lie. Yes, yeah, so I just heard Nemesis go round. So they were testing the rides. I mean, there's a film crew here today as well. Do you know what it's for? I was talking to one of the producers earlier actually as well. So yeah, I was yeah I was talking to one of the producers earlier about it. Yeah. 
here's another much more better view. I will come back later to see the switched on actually. We might use it for the start of the vlog, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah. Yeah, they, do, they spent a lot of money. They spent, I think, a million pounds uh, getting this back to how it was. That's a lot of money to actually get it back to how it was before. A lot of money's been spent, and I've got to say, that money's been well spent. So, yeah. But I'm not too sure whether it's Merlin Entertainment that does it, or whether it's... Um, just Alton Towers themselves, or another company that that funds it all, I'm not 100% sure, but I know for a fact that it's the park, Merlin Entertainment and another company that actually funds it all, I know that for sure anyway, but that, that, that'll be interesting later, it's hard to look at, I can hear Nemesis in the background, it's that way somewhere, I can hear it echoing, yeah, oh yeah, by the way, in the, um, courtyard area I saw the ducks fighting earlier so uh, yes yeah, so when there's other areas to look at I will um, be back in a bit so everyone um, it's not gonna be yeah it's not gonna be a long vlog as I uh, as I said but there's something new here, okay, at Alton Towers. A lot of new things here. Now, of course, um, oh yes, I can do that actually. Brilliant. Put that there for the time being. <coughs> because, as you know, okay, Alton Towers is known for doing loads of new things. However, though, you may see here it says the Burger Kitchen. Yep. Not anymore, because it's actually now called the Burper Kitchen. That's right, Burper. And I've got to say, they've got all the originals still here, all these still be here, but no, what I like to call, Poor Hun Specials. Now, if you don't know who Poor Hun is, just go on the search bar at the top, at the uh, top here, and then you'll know who Poor Hun actually is. Um, and you'll get an idea who Paul Hun actually is and what he does as a, as a career. So I'm going to go down to the Pagoda in the Fountain again, that colourful fountain thing. Um, and then um, I've got my tea. And then uh, Wicker Man's been testing today. It's not been testing again at the moment. I think it's because of the wind. Um, like I said, if it's a hot day, the rain stopped. That's one good thing, I suppose. It's just the wind, it's really bad. Um, so I can see me going home in about an hour's time, I would have thought. Um, which is not too bad, really, to be fair. At least I've been here for half a day, anyway. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the uh, Pagoda Fountain, if it switches on. So, it's finally on, the Pagoda Fountain. I think that's one. Oh, God, nearly slipping over. <sighs> Head down here. <laughs> God, nearly slipped then. Yeah, I can. Once I filmed this, I think really, to be honest. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's on. I mean, it's not high, 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 but it's on anyway. I think it's turning off now anyway. So that's the thing. Yeah, it's so, on, finally, and the sun's come out, finally, just as I'm about to go on. But, uh, yeah, I'm so pleased that that's on. I mean, it should be a bit higher, but, yeah. And I nearly tripped back there again, so I'm going to walk around the same way again, as per usual. So, yeah, it's in that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. Hmm. Um, of course, yes, and he wants to say hello again. His name's called, listen to this YouTube, for the Grain the Fountain here at Old Towers. Pardon moi. 
little quiet one, little hissy. He's, he's hissy and he's loud for some reason. Anyway, uh, I'm going to head down back to the main entrance in a second and um, go from there and probably end this vlog. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. So then, everyone, look where I am to end the vlog. I'm at the Chained Oak. So I parked up, it's literally just a couple of minutes up the road from Alton Towers, it's not really that far. Um, it's all muddy down here. But look, the actual Chained Oak tree. God, it's massive, it's huge. I can't believe how big it is. God, it's huge. And this has got a lot of heritage, as you know. If you haven't seen, check out uh, Sean's vlog. Um, the cycling vlog that he did on Team Quite Wide. God, this is the actual chain that they, they chained up. God, can't believe it, I'm touching the actual chain. It was a bit knackered now, but really, really good. I don't know, about, I don't know whether there's any more chains as far as one up there. I don't know if there's any more, but this is the actual chained oak tree. The good old chained oak tree. God, I can't believe it. Now, just a bit back history on this tree, actually. Um, if you uh, go on Hex at Alton Towers, um, it's, it's to do with that. It's to do with Hex. Right, I'm going to try and get down here without hurting myself now. Uh, uh, here we are. Yes. The banana costume's in the car. I'm going back home. I've enjoyed my day actually here, actually, well, at Alton Towers, and to end it here, at the Chained Oak. Look at that, huh? Can you believe it, huh? Chained Oak. Can't believe it. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, let's see if I can get a good view from it from down here. Eh, sort of, yeah. But it's there anyway, as you can see. It's all there anyway. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, check out Sean's vlog from Theme Park Sean from Theme Park Worldwide's vlog. Um blah, 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 blah. Sean from Theme Park Worldwide's vlog. He did a cycling vlog uh a few about a month ago, uh all the way to here, uh from where he lives. Um and uh yeah, just check that out anyway. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um and also as well Check out uh, it, all the other theme park or white vlogs, the gardens vlog as well. But both gardens vlogs that were uploaded uh, over the weekend as well. By the time this vlog goes online, um, like I said, I probably would have watched them by now. But do check them out anyway, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, and also a shout out to Coaster Crazy, Andy Rumney from Coaster Crazy. Uh, and also, I saw Will Donahue from the theme park fans, he's now at Alton Towers. Um, it's good to see you guys as well, and his dad as well, David. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, well, nice to see you guys again. Uh, who else? Um, Sean Nutlaw wasn't here today. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think now. Uh, theme Park TV as well, for me Theme Park Banter. You know. Um, just lay off the, um, how do you call it, bum licking Callum with Courtney. Um, and make sure it's clean if you do do things like that. Uh, but for me, Daryl Dazza Morgan and the Chained Oak Tree and Alton Towers, just a couple of minutes up the road. That's the end of today's vlog, and I'll see you guys very soon. Eh.